What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Sorry for the delay. If you guys have been watching on YouTube, I know there has not been a YouTube video for about a day, one day, and it felt real bad. Like I usually upload at 9, uh, 11 a.m. and 9 p.m. Badger with the five gift subs, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're doing sealed only because there only is sealed. They don't do, they don't do, uh, they don't do draft until like either the next day or like Monday. This time they're starting draft tomorrow, which is nice. Aloha, brother. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Anyway, what I was saying was I usually upload videos on YouTube at 11 a.m. and 9 p.m., so twice a day. Uh, Wednesday had a video at 11 a.m., no 9 p.m. video, which I felt bad about. And then there was no 11 a.m. video today on Thursday. So there should be one up tonight if I can get these videos done and uploaded. But, um, yeah. So I had LASIK yesterday, for those who don't know. Or Tuesday, two days ago, I guess. And that has been the... Are we doing the... <clears throat> that has been the delay. Are we doing the Gilded or just the regular? I kind of like Gilded better. Vintage Cube is gone now, yes, which is the super sad. Honestly, like... Is this the one where you add a pack every, like, three... Like, every every three matches? Because I don't want that... I don't want something that long. Because it's like you're giving you nine rounds. I don't feel like paying nine rounds, unfortunately. How long was the procedure? The procedure itself is about 15 minutes, if that. Probably like 10 minutes. Like, I literally laid down and they're like. They put like a thing. They cover one eye <clears throat> so that they know which one they're doing, right? It's like it's like when you're getting a leg amputated and they have to like write not this leg on the, on the other leg so they don't accidentally cut off the wrong leg. So they put a thing over here and then they like. They put a thing, like, they, they'll, like, tape your eyelid up like this so that it's, like, stuck. And then they put, like, a little thing, a cup around it, so, like, it pops the eye out. And then they put you under, like, a laser for, like, literally 20 seconds. And then you're done. And then they do the next eye. Uh, the slicing cornea part creeped me out as well. Uh, the thought of it creeps me out. But you cannot feel it, and you cannot see it. You have no idea what's going on. You literally, th everything just goes black for a second because it's like a laser like right on top of your eye. And um, then they just pull it back up and you're done. And everything's still a little bit blurry. Like when I look at lights, it's still kind of like halo-y. My eyes are still sensitive, but like, I mean, it was a major eye surgery. Like I can only imagine that it's, that's gonna, it's gonna, that seems, it's, it's been pretty normal. Anyway. Does anyone else hear Burge? <laughs> Yeah, so I mentioned this earlier, but like when you play arena, there's these there's these like ambient birds in the background, like it's like foresty and it's kind of like it's kind of like uh like white noise, right? And I kind of like it. <clears throat> so there's been times where I'll like forget arenas up and I'll just hear these like relaxing birds and I'm like this is nice. Oh, it's for Magic Arena. So I'm just going to leave it up. So hopefully you guys don't mind and you guys uh won't hate the birds. Okay, well, this is the second random call I've gotten today from a number I do not know. Oh, Nifty Chris, I just got your text about the exact thing that we would be talking about. I appreciate you, buddy. My mother-in-law got LASIK on the day on the on the same day as you. Did you guys hold hands while the doctors? Oh, uh, we didn't actually, but we talked about it. I messaged your mother-in-law and I was like, "How was how was it for you?" And she was like, "It was good." And and she was like, "How was yours?" And I was like, "It was good." Are there only okay? I was like, are there only two people in here? And I was like, no, that's there's, there's a lot. So four hundred ninety in this one, and seven hundred eighty, almost twice as many in this one. Did you record that first super episode? Your eyes closed? No, because that was on Sunday or Monday. That was the day before. Um, what what guild are we picking? Can we get a can we get a straw poll for the guild too? If you guys are watching this on YouTube, hopefully you don't mind terribly. That there's a lot of chatter, and uh, what guild do we choose? Azorius, Gruul, or Z or Job, as they say, with the Simic and Rakdos. 
God, I love, oh God, I love Ravnica. You guys can type it in the chat, but we're using the straw poll, you nerds. I'm gonna vote for the one I want as well, which will be. I don't know. Let's go with this one. It's two thirds of salty. It is two thirds of salty. That's a. <laughs> Oh, vote Simic or your band. Wow. Well, on the bright side, the one I voted for literally has zero votes except for the my vote, so that's pretty hilarious. I guess no one likes Azorius. Wow. I think Gruel won by a sizable margin. That is pretty funny. Alright, we're gonna do we're gonna do Gruel here. Also, Gruul is interesting because it has, like, Scry tacked onto, like, random cards. I always, like... So, here's the thing. Um, I always, like, looking, like, manually and finding the rares because I find that fun. I'm like, ooh, let me see if I can find the rare. Like, it kind of slow rolls myself. I'm like, ooh, what's the rares? Let's see. And I get excited if it's, like, a Planeswalker or something. Um, but a lot of people get annoyed at that, apparently. So, I'm just gonna... I'll just do it manually so you guys can... Oh, this is... Oh, Seraph of the Scales. 4-3 flyer for 4. Gives it Vigilance. Gives it Death Touch. And then she becomes 2-1-1s one when she dies. Prime Speaker Vanifer is just a birthing pod lady. Who's that lady? Birthing pod lady. This guy's a Detention Sphere. This is a Deputy de of Detention Sphere. It's literally just a 1-3 that can exile all non-land permanents with the same name. This guy is pretty good. So we're definitely playing Gruul Spellbreaker. Whenever you cast a multi color spell, create a 1 1. This is actually very, very good. Let's see what we're going to play here. Oh, God. I don't know many of these cards, which just makes me really sad. Gruel gets Orzov Serve. Yeah, it's a sign. It's a sign. Yeah, we get the Orzov card and the Simic card. And those are the second two. Second two most popular guilds. 3 5 for 5 with a reach. All right, I'll get to see one of those getting in there. 5-5 five, five for 5. Each creature you control with a full encounter has trample on it. becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. That seems very strong. <clears throat> Draw 4 cards and discard 2 cards. So you're netting 2 cards for 6. It's a bit rough, but it is an instant. 6-6 six, six with trample for 7. Could be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Could be a hasty boy. I, don't, I think that's fine. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. So let's say I reveal this, this fat boy. Until your next turn, Amplifier's base power and toughness. Base power becomes twice that card's power. And its base toughness becomes twice that card's toughness. Put the real card. So it becomes a 12-12? That's fascinating. And it's always going to hit a creature. Hmm. Hmm. Are you a John? I, did, I am a John Wick fan, but I have not seen the third John Wick trailer yet. So I'll have to keep my eyes peeled. I mean, I did see... I actually saw someone post it on social media. I just didn't look at it, so I don't... I don't really have to keep my eyes peeled in the sense that, like, I know it exists. Destroy an artifact, destroy a creature with Defender. That's like a bad creeping canopy. Crushing canopy. However, it is, like, a much better Shatter. Wow, so Shatter, it's like a much better... What's the one mana Shatter? Crush? We're kind of learning together here, guys. Smash? Is it Smash? No. It might be Smash. No, it is Crush. Destroy target non-creature artifact. Wow, that card's terrible. I don't think peeling your eyes is good for LASIK recovery. I agree with that. I'm on that side of history. Uh, whenever a creature you control with power, one or less attacks. Deals one damage to target player or planeswalker that creature is attacking. Two of those seems good. That's just a 2-2. Two -two. Why did we pick Gruul? Can you guys let me know in the, in the comments why we picked a Gruul? Is it because if not, are, are, if not Gruel, then Shut die? Is that one? Money. You're one lonely Rakdos buck. What does that even mean? Who cares? Appreciate it, buddy. Deals two damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile instead. Yeah, that seems good. Thrown all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Nope, don't want two of those. Whenever a creature with power of four or greater enters the battlefield, it gets one one and gains vigilance until end of turn. Man, I was hoping that was a counter. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what the cards do in general, not necessarily what the gruel cards do. Deal six damage target creature with flying. That's not bad if they have a flyer, obviously. And plus four, plus two in trample is also not terrible for two mana. This card's great. How many gates do we have? A good amount. Oh wow, our gates are. Our, we have gas gates. Gas gates. All creatures get negative, negative until they turn. Exile all creature cards in the graveyard that are put there from the battlefield this turn. If a creature would die this turn, exile instead. Wow, that's that's pretty crazy. What? Why do we have stips up? No stip. Gas gates. Hashtag gas gates. Uh, I don't know what to do here. There's a lot going on. This is a 2-1 for 3. Afterlife 2 becomes 2-1-1s. One one one, 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 gates. Is this worth it? Can be blocked by creatures or 2 or less. Whenever a gate is battlefield, you may put gate colossus from your graveyard on top of your library. That seems insane, right? I just want to try that out. So... Gruel is good. Simic is good. So we can be teamer pretty easily and still play six gates. I kind of like that. Frilled Mystic, this guy, this guy. Oh, the Sunder Shaman's insane. 3-3 three, three for 4. It can be a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that card's great. Return to two target permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand for five mana. I don't mind that because it's, a, it's an instant, so end of turn I can do this. Six, five for five. That What the phone? Relax. Okay. Okay, we did it. <clears throat> all right, all right. We're back in. We're back in the game. Get our head in the game. We're doing it. Uh, two three flyer for three it becomes a. It becomes a three four for like four extra mana. But the thing is, like, it does something if you don't have anything to do. I'm that only vote for Rakdos on the straw poll. This is too many steps. I need a nap now. <laughs> Enemies, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Is this our fourth spot? Ooh, that's that's gruesome. All right, we got a lot going on here, so I'm kind of overwhelmed, and I'm trying to make the YouTube video as uh, as, as decent as possible without like making it just mono mono delays. When it enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent's negative two. Yeah, I don't care about you. Scry two. It's not terrible. This card good. 2-1 for 2, and then it just gets plus 2, plus 2 in the late game. It seems fine. We've definitely played worse cards than that in in limited formats. Costs 1 less if it targets a creature you control with a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. Target creature you control fights. Yeah, we're definitely playing that. I do like Growth Spiral. At the very worst, it replaces itself. Skewer the Critics is the most... Uh, Rakdos name I've ever heard, so it has to be a Rakdos card, I imagine. Tempted to play one Gruel Locket. We'll play Aeromunculus. Steeple Creeper. 4 2 for 3, gets flying until end of turn. That seems actually really good. Uh, destroy a creature with flying. It deals 1 damage to each creature from flying your opponent's control. That's actually not bad. Create a number of 1 1 goblins equal to the number of cards named Goblin Gathering in your graveyard. Equals a two plus the number of. Oh. I wonder if three of these is good. If we play all three of these, should we also play the cavalcade, the two cavalcades as well? Huh. Uh, whenever Burnish Your Analyst hacks me, discard a card. If you draw a card, that's actually pretty decent. You get to loot every time it attacks. This is 21 cards. I don't know if we want to splash for the double blue guy. I really like... Obviously, it's Mystic Snake, so, like, I'm kind of about it. I 
Search library for basic land card or a gate card to be able to put in your hand and shuffle your library. Open the gates actually seems pretty good if we're playing like six gates. <laughs> he loves his mountains. Hmm. Chillbringer? What does that thing do? When it enters the battlefield, up to tap target creature and opponent controls, it doesn't tap target controls next. Oh, it's a 3 3 flyer? Sure. Yeah, that seems great. Hmm. Well, we do have one spider in the deck. I don't want I don't know if I want two in the deck. What do these eels do? Three threes and they just become five fives for so seven mana. Huh. Each creature you control the pulse multiple. This actually seems very good. I do like Mystic Snake, but double green is kinda rough. Or double blue rather, not double green. I wish we had more, like, removal, but maybe we're all right. Maybe we're okay. Uh, scry one, sure. That's that's a thing, I guess. Regenesis. I kind of like the Regenesis, just because any two permanents is pretty nice. We could just play Mystic Snake, and now we can just add our gates and be done. I think this is actually all right. I have no idea how fast this format is, so let's find out. So this is one, two, three, four red, five, six, seven, eight. And then this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten green. We can go to nine pretty easily. I, I kind of like two blue here. This is only 15 lands. We still get another land. Wow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably just add another mountain. Hajigulashi, what's going on? All right, let's see how this deck does. I have no idea, so. It's a Rakdos format, so probably pretty fast. Yeah, all right. Well, that's something. All right, here we go. Shut up and take my money. Oh, all right. One blink more buck will help you strain your eyes less. Am I not blinking enough? I like Philly's like, I'm going to watch him blink and make sure he's blinking enough. He's my Indian dad. Do, 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 do. I also have tons of drops here. So as I mentioned earlier, you guys will likely see me wet these, wet these peepers at some point. Oh, we don't have a, we don't have a three drop. So we're probably just going to play this now, play this on three and then. I'll donate three dollars if we lose a match to someone who pulled four Skewer of the Critics. What is Skewer of the Critics? Deals three damage to any target. Oh wow, that's very good. Do we have one of those? I don't think so. It's got Matt Murdock on it. Uh plan. So one three minutes it gets plus two plus oh, sure. Wet these peepers. <laughs> good times, good times. Um, yeah, we're probably just gonna play the guild gate. We can't even pump this guy because it costs four thousand mana. I'm just making sure he doesn't have like menace or something of his own. Or fear. What's the what's fear? Just intimidate. It's called intimidate, right? I don't think they use that anymore. I think they just use menace instead because it's just easier to block for all decks. Oh, wow, the double Rakdos Trumpeter deck. Oh, they want to attack there. All right. Well, that's something. Well, that's a thing, I guess. So we could play this this turn. And then eh, we have we have five mana, though. That, that gives us... We're just fine. What's up, Illusions Donate? 
If it goes too bad, just blame it on the server. Well, that's not good. We're not going to do that. Hopefully, it won't go that bad. Oh, are you talking about the, the draft? The sealed? The thing? <sighs> not blocking you. Because I'll just take one. <laughs> I hear you're coming in for the set review tomorrow, guess. <laughs> oh, wow. There's Oh, look, there's one. There's one down. That's what's known as a lightning bolt, ladies and gentlemen. Fear can't be blocked except by artifacts and black creatures. Ugh. Whatever, you nerd. 175 Ursa basics from Card Kingdom. I feel bad for the poor Celestial. Why would you? Why do you need? Oh, for cubes. So not the not of the same land. Okay, got it. It's only a three minute walk. <laughs> It takes you three minutes to walk from the, my front door to the bushes. I think you un, I think you overestimate how long three minutes is, or how underestimate how short it is. Wait. Huh. Well. They sure have it all, don't they? <laughs> oh my god. What does this guy do? When it enters the battlefield, target creature controls the plus one plus one. Sure, that's fine. I'll take three. Man, I like this match better when we had big creatures on the board that did things. That's a big creature that does things. We could have kept our mana up. And then, I mean, I'll gladly trade my 2-1 for my for the 3-2 if they want to do that. Why do they have more cards than us, too? I guess we've drawn more lands. We've drawn two more extra lands. <sighs> I called you Thick Mike on Facebook and I felt bad ever since. Cool. We're doing great. They're just killing everything we have. I'm having a good time. Oh, that guy costs one less. Yikes. So they've been able to kill both five fives and our And our 2-3, that would be a 4-5, so. On the board right now, we currently don't. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They only have one red, though, so they can probably kill... Might as well trade with one. Oh, actually, this is going to be a 2-for-1, isn't it? Oh, God. This is, how, this is how we get used to new sets, guys. Yep, that's rough. I mean, I don't feel like we're winning this game anyway, but... Uh, they don't really have much, though. Unless they play, like, Angel of Despair for seven mana here. Uh, whenever it attacks, you sacrifice another creature if you do, it again, can be blocked this turn. Sure. I'm 
just going to pass here. We're at nine. If we can draw one more of these, I'm like, good to go. Make four. All right, I guess we'll take three because it can't be blocked. Sure, I guess we're dead on board. <sighs> Maybe this guy can just kill them? Uh, haste. Oh, wow, they go to one here. That's pretty comical. Yep, that game was actually surprisingly close. I think if we attacked the last turn, we might have been better because they would have taken three, right? They're not going to block with this guy. So they're going to block with the three, two, and then they take two and then one. So we'd, they would be at three less. We'd have one less goblin, which would have held two extra points this turn. So it actually would have been, I think if we attacked the last turn, it would have been pretty easily lethal. Also, I didn't actually realize that this card was uh, its power one or less. I thought it was two or less. Which is why I was pretty okay with including some of the... Uh... Some of the two, tough, two power creatures. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering about the quality of this card in general now. Oh, we don't have a Rakdos Signet. Nor do we have a Rakdos Locket. Although we could play Rakdos Guildgate and play this, because then we have double guild, double plaza and a Guildgate, which might be enough. If that's what you meant. I kind of don't like these actually. I thought they were better than they were. I'll just bring in the 2 2. Sand seems great. So we have double green. We need a blue. So we might just get, actually, we might just get Gateway Plaza. You guys like these bird sound effects that I'm leaving up from the uh, MTG Arena? Okay. One, two with Death Touch, eh? Might just be goblins here. Actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna click on the right card. I'm just gonna play this guy and try to race you. I don't care about your one two, and I definitely want you to have one one flyer instead. That doesn't seem better. No blocks. That's interesting. Shut up and take my money. Hodge glad you're black. Glad you're doing well. Glad you now have laser eyes. Enjoy. I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. 
Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Thank you. Three damage to a tapped creature if you cast... Of course. Of course. Ah, oh, wonderful. And we had the land. We could have just played the land pre-combat. Uh-huh. I mean, if they don't, if if we don't play it, like then they just actually, we play this instead, and then they play this post combat, right? Because it's not attacking creature, right? It's just three damage to a tapped creature, so it's not really. Seems good. Outside of being a 2-4, I don't actually know if this ability is good and limited. I doubt it. Like, sacking your 3-3 your three, three to, to get a 6-drop is just not ideal. I'm sorry, what? Discards all the cards in their hand and creates that many 2-2 black zombie cre Wow. All right. I guess that's a thing. What a weird card to be playing in limited. Unfortunately, we don't have one drops, so we can't actually sacrifice these. Yeah, that was very strange. I don't, I don't know if that was actually that great. It seems like there's very few situations where you're going to be ahead. Do we sack this guy to get a 5-5? Five, five? Like, it can't be blocked by more than one creature, but, like, they have a perfect creature to block it. Oh, we have a 6-drop. We have multiple 6-drops. All right. Or five drop, rather, because that goes four. What, what do we have on six that we can get, theoretically? Nothing, really. All right, that's good to know. We do have a seven drop, but without a six drop... I hear every bidet is chicken Sunday. That's probably accurate. Sure. <laughs> no attack anyway. All right. Sounds good. Huh. Well, I'm just gonna keep playing Guild Gates if we get them because it makes the uh, the Colossus better. It also makes the um, it's just they come to play tapped, so I don't really want to have them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have an eight mana though. I don't think it actually matters. Wow, double hazard officer. Oh boy, where am I 
a good time. We can attack with this guy, but then you just block with the Death Touch guy. Having a 1-1 one, one Death Toucher, 1-2 Death Toucher is pretty obnoxious. Two one, sure. Actually, I bet we can get a better creature than this. As long as it's your turn has hex proof, it is a three three or a four four. Let's get this guy, because it floats. Well, they're in top deck mode, so... That thing does not fly. Yeah, we're just taking two here. Five three, sure. So the Colossus is what? It's it's if it I don't know, I'm not gonna have to I'm not gonna look it up here. Does playing a gate does playing a gate put it back on top of your library? Is that what does it? Uh, whenever a gate enters the battlefield, yeah, okay, so yeah, we'll just save any future gates. One, two, three, four. Alright. I mean, we have a good amount of chump blockers for the 5-3. I, I, I want to give them as few uh, afterlife tokens as we can, because... What's up, Alan? Okay. Well, then. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, man. We're one shy. But next turn, my boys. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually tempted to just play this now because... Yeah, I think we are going to play this now. Because then we can activate this and adapt to this. I guess we don't really need to, right? The 7-7 seven, seven already has flying here, which is pretty boss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eleven creatures. We have one, two, three, four, we have six. So we can let like five of these get by. Yeah, we're fine here. Maybe? I mean they kinda have to alpha anyway, so. Alright. Well, let's block you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we have to block these instead, right? These are just better blocks. Nope, not you. So they can pump these guys twice. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it seems fine. And they did not pump. All right. And they just lost the game. Seems good. Skatewing Spy MVP.
Dimming your creatures flying. Not bad. We actually don't even have a six. Um, they're bad. When watchful giants battle for a critter one one. Uh, uh. I almost like regenesis. Like if they're making us discard our hand, like it's actually kind of a nice way to reload. Do I like Goblin Gathering? I don't actually think that's that great. Do we have any more cards that put counters on things? Actually, Sagittarius Volley doesn't seem terrible when they have that many uh, floaty boys, as it were. Hmm... Root snare. God, it's real tempting to just play this. I mean, can we just go five color in this deck? Can we just play the Orzov Guildgate as well? So now we have. Like we have open the gates, and we have double gateway plaza orders off guild gate. And now we can put Seraph in the deck. This card's good. Take out the gatherings, I guess. And now we can just add deputy. Gain two life and draw a card. And recast an instant or main phase you return. So this is basically oh, this is nice. Hmm. Sixteen lands this guy, and we need to cut one more thing. Can't be blocked. That's boss. Thirty-four seconds. Um, <laughs> this deck looks insane. We'll take the boar out. I also want to add final payment in because I think it's just a really solid removal spell. But for now, I think we're pretty okay. Well, we got our one white source. <laughs> Gateway Plaza is OP. Ah! Any non four drops would be would be nice here. God, that took forever to drop. I was like, can you drop, please? I'm here to watch some flashy plays and your handsome face. Any tips? No, just keep your eyes open. I don't have any tips on how to watch things. That's laser fuel. <laughs> Oh, good times. Oh, they only have double black. That's fascinating. I have all the colors of the wind. Wow, really? This is aggressive. I wouldn't you rather double block the four two? Oh my god, if you switch the eye drops to Mio, dude, I'd be dead. That would be the end. Nope, let's use that for white. Tell those birds to keep it down. <laughs> Do you guys like the birds? I kind of like the birds. It's very relaxing. 
End game. All right, we had a good run. Yeah, our deck is much sweeter with five colors. Let's get rid of this, this, and this. Take out all these mountains. We'll play the two more guild gates, and we'll add a plains, because we have a lot of white cards we're bringing in. Take out these goblins. Take out the cavalcades of calamity. Final payment is great. Also, two one vigilance. That just, I don't. I don't really want a a black and white card that early though. Is the is the problem? When you cast the multicolor spell, yes, hero of pre saint is insane in this deck. Yes, one thousand percent hero. Uh, Grasping thrall is good. Seraph, obviously insane. And then we played, what, Deputy? So this is usually, this is a two drop every time. It's never gonna cost four. I used to love the candy bonkers. Bonkers was one of my favorite candies and I bring it up to people a lot. And I actually think high chews are very similar to bonkers, which is one of the reasons why I like them as much as I do. Oh, get get the yeah, get the point. There you go. That's what we needed. So now we need to take one more thing out. Um I'm not in love with Prime Speaker Vanifer, but if we have like a three drop. Like I like being able to sacrifice ministers to get Seraph. That's pretty insane, right? Yeah, this guy's kind of meh. And we still have 18 creatures. This deck looks nuts. I'm, I'm actually a big fan of this deck. I, I think Frilled Mystic is hard to cast, but everyone was like really adamant on playing it. But it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine green sources and f one, two, six blue sources. I actually don't think it's terrible. We also have opened the gate to get a second of either. <laughs> Phyrexian Obliter. We could put Final Payment in instead of the Frilled Mystic. I kind of like that better. Wow, this deck is crazy. This deck went from kind of boring to just insane. Yeah, Bonkers are one of my favorite candies. Oh, man. I think I'm definitely feeling some uh, residual LASIK headache. Plaza O Harmony? What is that? <laughs> what are you saying right now, Matthew? Hmm. Plaza of Harmony. I got you. I got you. Oh, hand is good. Well, Tuesday was LASIK day. If I got it today, I would likely not be uh, streaming as well. <sighs> Definitely keeping this hand. Do we play Forest into Open the Gates and then Gateway Plaza? Probably. Or we can just go Orzhov Guild to get into Gateway Plaza. These are the questions we have to ask ourselves. But we can cast both of these with the mana we have, which is super nice.
Well, this guy's probably going to cost five if we get another gate here. Don't play anything. I said not to play anything. Okay, well, I don't care about that. Yes. Prevent. Well, now with another forest, we can actually go this into the... We can actually just play all three of these with, all the, with the lands we have in hand, which is pretty insane. So this into this. And five drop this guy if we hit one more land. I guess we don't have a, sec we don't have a third gate yet, so this guy's six. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Which Simic Commander deck would you rather build? Rashmi or Prime Speaker Vanifair? Or Rashmi. I don't think... I, I think Vanifair is kind of narrow. Um, being only able to search for one higher and also having to have, like, a specific creature, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Vanifair is good, though. Like, because you can add so many different creature types. Or different creatures with different converted mana costs that I, rather. Each creature you control, yeah. So this is a 3-3, three, three, essentially. That's just rude. Ooh, that's a good one. So. What are we getting rid of here, though, is the question. We can get rid of this, make this a 1-3. We can get rid of your 1-3. Or we can just make it so our 4-2 can attack again. I don't think we care about the 4-2. I think I'd much rather neuter your creatures. Yep, good choice. Otherwise, that would have a 4-4 flyer. And then this would become a... Also a 4-4 flyer. I guess it would be gone, though. So this should cost 5, right? And they can attack us for 3? Also worth noting, we could currently cast Frilled Mystic. Green, blue, green, blue. Just to, just as a, uh, baby shark do crab do 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 Yeah, that's, that's not necessary. Scry one, you got it. Yep, take three. So if I can find a way to get rid of this, they, uh, they get, I guess they can still block. This is a three two, not a three, not a two three. Do we have a nine drop the pot into? Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, nay. Oh, that guy's not bad. Hmm. 
I do like being able to sacrifice this guy with Prime Speaker, though. That's pretty sick. I kind of want to drop this guy, but being able to Prime Speaker this guy into, like, um, the 5-5 five five or Seraph would be pretty insane. That seems pretty good. Let's just get a gate that we don't care about, really. We just want to actually have a gate to return this guy if we need it. So we'll just get a Rakdos gate, I guess. If they get rid of deputy, it's actually pretty scary. <laughs> it's like then they just have a four 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 three three. I think we're just trading here. I mean if we block here we take four. Oh, like it's whatever. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. Can we just play this guy and deal some do some dirties? Oh, uh, let's go with haste. Are they dead? This is 11. I don't need to attack with the, the deputy in case they have, like, deal 3 damage to a tapped creature. And then they get their thing back, and they could probably, if they, I don't know the cost, so they might be able to untap their guys. Exile a creature, target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield and so it gains first strike, sure. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying hexproof about. And our deck is pretty sweet. Baby shark. <clears throat> so they have a bunch of floaty boys. Sagittar's volley seems pretty nuts. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, nothing that destroys an enchantment. What about flying? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, that's not exciting. I also kind of want to screen cap our deck just so I know what we can search for at any given point. Okay. <laughs> Megan, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> oh, nice. I'm glad I I'm glad I can get you with the baby shark there. That was good. 
I don't know what to cut though. We got one cut. Probably this wrecking beast. I don't really care about this idiot. God, he's so big though. Everything else seems great. All right, whatever. You don't like Mammoth Spider? They had so many flyers though. Are you saying to bring in Mammoth Spider? <laughs> we have a good time. We have a good time. That's what she said. That's what she said. Should I put in the Mammoth Spider? That's what she said. I will keep this hand. What do you got here? A little 1-1 one -one with hate? What the hell just happened? This was not what you were playing last game. Oh, you tricksy hobbit. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play a different deck this time. Well, whatever you gotta do, buddy. Whatever makes you happy inside. Oh, I like gross spiraling into uh second guild gate. That seems pretty good. Super Fritz, enjoy your Mexican food. Wow, they literally just transformed their entire life. I mean, we boarded in one card against Flyers, so, like, whatever. Hmm. I'm still leaning towards Gross Spiral here. We just play land, end of turn Gross Spiral. I'll take three. What does this guy do? Can't be blocked except by creatures with Defender. What a little turd. What an absolute little turd. He looks like a little turd. Look at this face. Hold on. Let's let's do a let's do one of these jobbies so we can get a look at this little guy. You ready? Look at this milady looking guy. <laughs> oh man, tip of the hat, milady. Oh god, fedora wearing goblin. Magobo. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so let's do one of these jobbies. I wish I had another land so I could actually put this gateway plaza into play, but alas, it was not meant to be. Oh, a little, little... Oh, we can actually kill something and play gateway plaza. That's pretty gas. And the next turn we can do it all. We can play the m ministrant, ministrant of obligation. Hmm. I'm probably gonna kill this guy because the two two is easily blocked by the ministrant. Ministrant. Oh boy. <sighs> Sorry, my lady. You must go. Oh, if this is where they go plus two, plus two, it's just so sad. It, it They did not. And this is literally just a two, two for two? All right, they didn't do anything. Huh. I'm actually going to play this. And then we can play this next turn and sacrifice it to get two one ones and uh, like some ridiculous four drop. We meet again in return in the return to return to the return to magic i miss you in my job so much i actually had to you know watch other... why would you do that you could have just watched vods jano appreciate it buddy delivering the beats that is a hot news yeah <laughs> that's, that's a good that's a good adele right there uh, I'm probably not going to block this guy. Hmm, running your 2-2 into my 2-4. A bold strategy. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. What is this turd? Five mana for a 2-2 that makes another 2-2. Two -two. 
At the beginning of your end step, put a one on counter on each ooze you control, so it makes two three threes. Yep, that's a thing, alright. That is a thing. Wow, and they can just go four mana and make another ooze. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Wow. Wow. Well, we cannot kill it with fighting because the three threes do not die to two fours, unfortunately. Come on, Alan. Come on. All of our guys cost three. Literally three drop, three drop, three drop, three drop. And we have a uh, <laughs> tapped, tapped dude. Uh, none of these guys get counters. Yeah, at the at the beginning of your at their end step, so that's still pretty good. Yeah, this is this is rough. Well, we cannot fight. I don't know why you guys think we can fight. Oh, because of this guy. Oh, that would have been good. Yeah, you guys are smart. I'll just get this guy instead and put a counter on it. I think that's probably better. God, you guys are so smart. Yep, that was pretty good. All right. Catastrophe averted. We did it. We solved the problem. Mirror March? What is this? Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, flip a coin until you lose a flip. For each flip you won, create a token that's a copy of that creature. Yeah, that's not bad. Hmm... Oh, we took we took a screenshot, so we can actually we can actually check out our five drops here. Grasping throw. We can sack this dude and get a grasping throw. That's kind of cool, right? I guess. Hmm. Four six sixes with haste. Yeah. Well, let's, we're gonna hope that doesn't happen. We can also just play one of these four drops, one of these three drops, and get a uh, a seraph. We also just get Sunder Shaman as well, which is pretty pretty busted here. I can probably cast either one of these. But this guy's definitely probably the weakest link, and we also still get to keep up final payment, which is pretty cool. Let's do that. Let's get Sunder Shaman. <laughs> Sunder Shaman do 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 do. Uh, let's get rid of this dude. Final payment destroys a creature. No. I'm just going to attack with these guys. And this guy? No, they just don't block. But it makes this guy a lot better next turn, but it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Sure. It doesn't make it better. It just makes it so that they can block it an extra turn, I guess. Uh, this does not kill enchantments, you guys. This destroys a creature. You can sacrifice an enchantment to cast it, but you don't actually get to kill enchantments with it. I have to plug my mouse in now because it just died. Okay, we did it. I'm sorry, you're stealing my guy? Hmm. 
Well, that's certainly something, isn't it? All right, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're not going to attack with these guys, right? So I'll just take five. I don't have an enchantment or an artifact. I hope you didn't think it was going to, like, copy it a bunch of times. So we're definitely blocking here. We'll probably just kill this. Because I don't feel like going to three here. I'd rather just go to six. Uh, black and white. All right, so we take five. Long time mild fan here. I'm new to Central Florida. Clarence, I was wondering if you were chat. Mike, any recommendations? A good location store in Atlanta. I have none. Um, because I don't actually play in that area. I'm like I'm like an hour and a half south of there, so it's hard for me to know what's good an hour and a half away. They're pretty much dead, right? So here's what we're going to do. You guys ready? It's going to be good. Going to play this this bro. One, two, three, four of our lands. So our, our actual uh, Colossus costs four if we ever draw. We're going to give this dude... Oh, they just conceded. Okay. We were going to attack with everybody except for this and then tr transform this into a Seraph and then we'd actually destroy this as well. So, Well, that's pretty good. We're 2-0. Did I see your Discord PM? I don't think I did. Let me try and find it because where my Discord's at. Oh, I think I updated it and now it is, it closed afterwards. Here we go. I've been missing you for two days now, but don't stream if you don't feel like it. Just take it slow and see what you can do. <laughs> oh, Zichi, good times, buddy. I'm so sorry for uh, for causing you to miss me. Come on, opponent in stage one. Let's let's do it. It's a good thing, right? Oh, it's totally good. It's totally good. It's hilarious. I appreciate it. Yeah, I read the PM out loud, but only because it wasn't like it wasn't an, it it wasn't some kind of intimate PM. I will keep this hand. So this is an O2 for one that deals a damage to each player. That's actually not bad. I got twenty. Or we got twenty turns, boys and and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have red. So I'm just gonna play the blue land. I actually, probably could have played Guildgate or Zob Guildgate. Cyborg, I did see your email. I saw it today, actually. 
didn't I? Or the other day? It was the other day. Oh my god. Things are getting serious, boys. Alright, well, we're just gonna go get a guild gate and, uh, yikes. This is a yikes for me, dog. Is our opponent 2-0? Does it say? Has it said? I don't think so. Yeah. I never thought I'd be way too far behind when our opponent plays two O twos on turn 1 and 2. But here we are. Here we are. I actually thought this was a three a three two. So being a two two is actually uh... oh that was a gas draw. Let's let's play that. I mean I'm sure this guy's gonna die, but you know. Scoop him up. Never didn't have it. <laughs> it's the second time, second time we played against this rare, this rare hero's downfall. Brian, I did not see the email you did not send. Oh boy, one. Uh, two, three, four. Let's play this guy. Let's just put some counters on him. Brian, try resending that email that you didn't send again. See if it goes through. Wow. I, I, um, I had a live journal back in the day. Pretty sure I want to do this because, good lord, I can't keep taking two a turn from these idiots. I can't believe these these spear spewers are actually doing this much damage to us. I think we're just trading here. Like, eh. I can't go to seven here, right? Like, it's just bad. I feel like we're just so far behind, and that's actually kind of comical. Oh, first strike. That's pretty good when you have a death touch guy. Dan Omek, what's going on, buddy? Oh, I see. A lot of lands here. A lot of lands here. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. This guy. One hundred unsent email bits. Just put it in a drawer. Send it later. Yep. Going to trade here, too. Going to just keep on blocking this guy. We're not dead yet. They have two cards. We're probably dead. All right. So what does this thing do? Whenever it a Racketeers deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. Sure. So they can go shoot us, shoot us, deal us two. I 
think we actually just want the hasty boy, and I think we want to just attack here. And then they're going to have to block. They did not block, so they go to six. And now we take... Oh, this is a 3-2. Yeah, we're dead. We messed up. I don't think we're winning this game anyway. Like, we block here. They get two 1-1 one, one flyers, and then we're dead next turn. Yeah, and then we just draw guild gate, so... Is there anything with Defender that, like, does a thing? <laughs> Destroy a creature with Defender. I think our deck is good enough. Do we have any life gain? I could see life gain being relevant. Dovin's acuity seems decent. This is a shade that costs three mana to pump. Please. Come on. Yeah, I'll bring Dovin's acuity in. I got the Chillbringer. Actually, we'll take out the Wrecking Beast. I'd rather have a 5 drop I can cast than a big fat idiot. Let's play first. Uh, I don't hate this hand. Oh, we have opened the gate. Yeah, actually, this hand's great. Hmm. Skilled gate here. Oh my god. Oh, that was a great draw. Wow. The rich get richer. Man, Gateway Plaza. What a time to be alive. I didn't know I boarded on the second Mammoth Spider. Well, I'll be. Baby shark. Spear skewer. Do, 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 do. Did they not shoot us? Nice. We tilted them with our 2 1. All right. I'll take it. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure... No, I'm pretty sure I took out... Uh, Where's the big dude? Oh, did I leave the big dude in here? Man, we messed up. No, this thing. I took out Wrecking Beast. And I brought the 3-5 the, the back. But I might have actually just cut it instead. Or just added 2 instead. That'd be weird. 30 plus 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we didn't actually go to 41. So that's weird. Well, we're not going to be able to play anything except for this guy. I don't think we're throwing this guy down for this. So, I think we're probably just opening the gates for another gateway plaza here. And just casting it. And by casting it, I mean playing it. Because you don't cast lands. That's just ridiculous. So now we can play this guy next turn and play Rakdos Guildgate. We could have also gotten a basic and then played Guildgate so that we set up for two Mammoth Spiders. But I think we're alright. Well, 
that's pretty good. 2-3. Whenever another creature you control dies, it deals one damage to each opponent, you gain a life. Interesting. Okay. Doesn't have death touch or anything, so we can just run this guy out there as a 4-4 four four as well. Alright. Okay, that makes sense as to what I did with the... Uh, with with Mammoth Spider Gate 20, 20, 2019, that makes sense. Krasuski, man, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. 35 months in a row, stiff draft, draft only orcs. <laughs> oh, sounds good. Um, I like being able to just play Mammoth Spider here, but then our blocks are not great. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we can play this guy, give this Vigilance. I guess that's fine. We also just take six from this idiot. Not really too concerned with it. Have they not shot us yet with this guy? Because that seems kind of funny. It's like turn five. What happened? They went from like super efficient game one to like not even dealing us any damage with... We don't have a Hexproof or something, do we? Okay, still no shoots. I don't understand what's going on. I'm very confusing. I'm confused, not confusing. Hmm. Me no, me no good speak English. Well, I get the point. That's for sure. I'm actually just going to block here, and then we have four power in the air still, which is pretty nuts. It doesn't really do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually play this. Let's play this now, see what we get. Uh, no lands. Titanic, Titanic Brawl's not, not terrible. I'm probably just going to get rid of this guy. Blue, white. And then next turn we can play Frenzied Arnix. So Arnix? 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 Oh wow, this guy's finally dying. Well, you did your job, I guess. You didn't even... Wait, you didn't even shoot me in... Wait, does it have to like... Why haven't they? Why haven't they activated it at all? I don't understand what's going on. Is there some like nonsense going on here? You're looking to switch life totals with this? It's each player. Oh, see, there you go. That's what I was looking for. That's that's the that's the key factor I was looking for. See, now you're talking. I wish I could blink this guy, get both of them. I feel like double blocking this guy is good. If they have the plus one plus oh, it's still only like a, it's still only a, a one for one. All right. I actually didn't keep track of their. No, I never really. Nah, it, was, it kind of was beyond me. I don't keep track of my opponent's life total. I don't see life totals.
Two six fives, huh? That dude's pretty solid. Well, yeah, this card's much worse now that I've seen it deal damage to both players. Now that I know the trick, it's not it's not as good. I kind of like Frilled Mystic here. Okay, we can take out one of these Mammoth Spiders. I'm going to bring in the Frilled Mystic. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So we took out this guy and this guy. We brought in Frilled Mystic and the uh, Dovin's Acuity. Okay. Chat doesn't see life totals either. That's how we always figure out chat lethal. Yeah, sounds about right. I actually like this hand because we have opened the gates for turn two. I, I think it's not terrible. If we can draw one land naturally, I think we're in good shape here. We did it. So next up, we can open the gates. We can even get like a red or something just so we have something to play, but... But they have not done anything. So we want... We have green and blue undercover. We do need a black source and a white source, so let's get just Orzhov Guildgate. We don't have a red yet. We could have actually gotten the... Uh, the Gateway Plaza. Play this this turn and then play Gateway Plaza next turn. But this leaves us able to play something if we hit a basic land, so. Sure. So hitting a forest would be cool because then we can play Aeromunculus. No forest, unfortunately. Well... <laughs> Our whole hand is turned on now. Except for this guy, but yeah, everything else is pretty much playable. Any future guild gate we draw is also fine. What does this do? 3 2, when it enters the battlefield, it deals 1 damage to you and you draw a card. That's pretty good. Oh, I'm not feeling terrible about the set right now. I have no idea if that will keep up. This is also sealed, and we're also 2-0, so... In game three, so I'm pretty okay with our deck. And we get to add another pack after this? Wow, what a time to be alive. I can't imagine them attacking here. I would say this is hard to deal with, but it's not because we have a get the point. All right. Your life total is your age. Your life total is your age minus your life expectancy. I don't even know if that makes any sense. Oh, a blood crypt. The rich get richer. I would have liked to be able to bounce my Dovin's Acuity with that. Uh, put that on the bottom. I don't care about a cantrip at this point. I guess we can still Titanic Brawl something. <laughs> Deals 2 damage to target opponent and 2 damage to, to one creature. Sure. Yep, that's a thing. That's a... Oh, that's a Rakdos Fire. That's the uh, that's the uncommon one. I literally thought this was the. Um... I thought this was Rakdos himself, as they say. Hmm. Mammoth Spider is actually pretty good here yep that's pretty all right this doesn't fly this 
still don't see getting in there for one being uh, in our best interest. I also do like uh, being able to go Dovin's Acuity into Scorch Mark next turn. Don't kill my spider. Yeah. <sighs> this is why we didn't attack. <clears throat> to the surprise of no one. Probably just chumping here. I don't really want to go to uh, seven. It's actually not bad. Oh, we don't have a second red though, so it actually gets worse. It's definitely worse. One, nope, one, two, three. We're gonna click the right things here. Dovin's Acuity. If we draw a land here, it's pretty good. That's also pretty good. Sure. I mean, being able to play this next turn, block here, get two one ones out of it. Oh, we don't have a second white. We are we're actually. This is the first time our mana base has ever caused us any issues. Red mana, mountain, just a basic mountain. A plains, that'll do. Because now we can go one. One, two, three, four. We could also play acuity and, yeah, that's not gonna do it. Why can't you be a four, four? That's really what we want here. So taking three, four, we go to three. I'm pretty sure we're still dead. Let's discard. I think it's actually Sundering Shaman. We don't have a second red, and it's gonna take us at least with the with the distribution of red in our deck, it's gonna take us at least two turns to be able to roll oh, they're just gonna kill us here. Sure. <laughs> Oh, good times. Lucky, 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 lucky. All right. Well, that being said, I'm going to cut the video here and we can uh, get, come back for part two. So be sure to check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. So don't go anywhere. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, you can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And you can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, where you will get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check that out, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.